Hello there, again, this is Norman No Mates here. This is what we get up to when we've got no mates. Today I'm going to be um, changing the transfer case or sometimes known as the four wheel drive uh, transfer box of oil. Now, my transfer box should take four, uh, three liters of oil, but I'm just not exactly sure what um, kind, of trans kind of transfer box I actually have. But anyway, I will show you what tools you're going to need. You're going to need, probably quite likely you might need a couple of extensions, different sizes. Going to need a ratchet, probably different types of breaker bars. This is my long trusty one long trusty one and you're going to need a torque wrench then you're going to need this type of socket which is a 10 mil as you can see allen key type socket right that's for the transfer um, the, the, the drain plug and the fill plug I put on Loctite when I put my drain plug and fill plug back in then you're going to need some oil uh, and you're probably going to need, depending on how it goes, you need one of these little pumpy things to put them in. But to, put, to pump it out of here into your transfer box. But I'm going to go under there and show you exactly where the transfer box plug is. Now I've got a 2008 Nissan Pathfinder. Now I'll come over here because I've got a Haynes manual. But the Haynes manual I have is for V6 and V8. And the car I've got is a, a two and a half litre um, turbo diesel. So it says here, transfer case lubricant, change all the drive models in brackets every 60,000 miles or 48 months. Now this car, Pathfinder's done about 141,000. So I would assume that it probably has been changed from the dealership when it was on uh, like the warranty thing on probably about maybe 20 or 30 thousand Ks. So I'm assuming that it's 100 thousand Ks because that's 100 thousand kilometers. 60 thousand miles? Well it's actually 96 thousand six hundred. So you could call it um, you could call it 97 thousand, 95 or 100. I don't really mind. So over here it tells you the transfer case and this is where I'm not sure what actual model I've got because I think I've got the wrong book but it says here it's either three layers or two layers okay so I've got the um, two and a half layers now. and over here it's got what type of recommended lubricants and fluids and I like to put in what is recommended so down here transfer case lubricant over here is Nissan Matic D automatic transmission fluid. So that goes in the trans box, the transfer case lubricant, but it's auto transmission fluid. Now I did a video recently that I changed my automatic transmission. Now, if you remember, and you might not see it, I might not be able to focus. It's got here Nissan Matic. The automatic trans was a J, and this here is automatic transmatic. Nissan Matic, rather, D. And it's exactly the same fluid that went in my auto trans. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, because you need a pump, this little pumper thing to pump out of here and into your um, fill point. What I sometimes do, and I've done in the past, I'm just going to show you, these are one litre balls, right? So you can actually put that on and in the fill point and hold these things upside down if you've got enough room. But I'm going to tell you, come on Newlon, and this is Newlon oil because I really, really like it. Really love the Newlon stuff. 
it really is high spec uh, a bit more expensive but hey I don't mind paying it paying it when it's good why doesn't this new one fit here and I could just turn this one upside down but it doesn't fit so when when I use one liter um, normally Instead of fumbling about with the hose and putting it onto this one, because that's what it is, that just screws off. That just screws off there. And there's a little nobule that you put your, you probably have to heat this up and put it over the top. But then I just screw the top off and screw it straight on here. And I could screw this straight on the four layer, but it doesn't fit. How silly is that? We can probably make hundreds of these, probably make hundreds of these. Make that fit that. Anyway, that's that. So anyway, what I've got to do, I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to use this because it's four litres and I'm going to just pump it in until the three litres, I'm assuming it's three litres, is going to be filled. But I'll get onto the car and I will show you where all the fill points actually are. Here we go. So here we go, we're under the car. Now you might not be able to see. Okay, well I get my bearings around here. So this here, is the transfer box this whole thing here right now it's a transfer box because the front wheel drive drive is here and the rear wheel drive is there okay so when we switch or, or um, switch from four two wheel drive to four wheel drive it engages this so then the front wheel drive the front wheels are then driven right now I don't go off-road all that much well off-road what I'm saying off-road is four-wheel driving I go off-road most days and um, because I live in South Barossa and there's a road here about three kilometers long that we use every day but it's a dirt track road now, the difference between that and a four-wheel drive is I say um, if it's being graded then it's off-road uh, and if it's not been graded, it's four-wheel drive. That's how I differentiate between the two. So, this here, right there, 10 mil. Now, I've got it yellowed, just so you can see it. It might not be very good here at all. So, we're right there. So, that's where we're at, actually. Right there. That is where drain plug. 10 mil, in there, 10 mil. Our other one is up here. That is our full plug, our full plug. So I'm gonna tell you something. Make sure you get this one off before you get the other one off and you drain it out. Because if you can't get this off, you're not gonna be able to fill it. So that there, like I say, yellowed it as well so you can see. So it's there. And I've got plenty of room to put a breaker bar on. You've got to watch for all these little lines and bits and bobs that's here. All the other stuff that's around. Watch not do that. That's the mechanism that probably tells you in the cab that it's engaged. Right, but there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's actually quite a big thing, but that is your transfer box. It transfers from four wheel drive to two wheel drive. Now I'm gonna get on with it. Like say, fill plug, other side that I showed you first, drain plug. Can't emphasize enough. Undo the filler plug first, then undo the oil. The, 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 the drain plug. So this is a fill plug, drain plug. Okay, I'll go and uh, start draining the oil. Now what I've got here, what I meant to say to you is, this is the bottom drain plug. Alright, so I'm draining out the oil now. You just remove them, what's the bottom one when you take this out because it really really squirts at you. So I've got a screwdriver here. Right? It's magnetic. So the reason it's magnetic is, and I've not really wiped this, I've not wiped it at all, just to show you, that there is 
if there's any filings and stuff that's floating about the bottom of your uh, transfer case and it's the same in your differentials your front and rear differential it will go onto the magnet but as you can see I'm pretty impressed with that I'm just gunging in my open fingers I don't feel anything on there that's untoward at all so I'm very happy that there's not any major flakings in there none whatsoever and the oil that come, that is coming out looks pretty good anyway, it looks pretty red so I'm glad of that as well so anyway I'll hitch up for filling and we'll just show you very quickly how we'll fill it now I'm going to show you the oil that came out here you may not see it all that much but it's pretty black so it's probably definitely needing a change now I'm going to do the diffs the front and back diffs that's all I've got to do I've done my trans this is the transfer box I've done it's pretty slimy I'll take it outside so you can see without making too much of a mess but that's uh, rather black and rather slimy so I'm glad I've done that so it may not have had an oil change it's like I say I bought this car probably about uh, probably about 12 months ago now when it had 88,000 on the clock so it's got you know 141 something on it now so I'll do that so having seen this um, and I don't know how much Four wheel driving it done. I think it was a grey nomad, it had it, and he was towing a car around. So that's why I'm quite keen to do the back brakes as well. So that just shows you what can uh, that's pretty slim. So I'm back before I put the uh, fill plugs in. I've got to torque them to a correct specification. Now that's in the Haynes manual. So you go down here to, there we go, transfer case, drain and fill plugs, across here, that's the foot pounds, I use the 35 newton meters, the other one is foot pounds, I don't use foot pounds, and I'll tell you why, because I used to work for a, shall we say, an Australian car maker in the northern suburbs of Adelaide. That's probably going to give it away. And they used to use things called Nor bars, which was torque wrenches. And everything there was set to newton meters. So that's why I use newton meters. Now it said that it was 35 newton meters that I need to set this thing to. But I'm going to do... Uh, a, a probably a separate one just on the new mirrors and the torque set and different torque settings and how you set them but what you do basically is you would put this up screw it up to um, 35 because I always back it off and not have it on the spring when I'm not using it because I'm I'm DIYing right so I put it up to 28 have this at zero obviously on that line then I would click it around so if you've got 28, so 2's 30, 32, 34, and 1 to that 7, which is between the 6 and the 8, and that would make 35. Then you would tighten this up so that it wouldn't move on you. And that's how you get your 35. It's as simple as that. But I'll put the bottom one in first because we don't want uh, our oil uh, to be... Uh, spewing out when we're putting it in the top so we'll put this into the correct torque now I will put a little bit of thread locker on here just on the threads just on the threads there the red stuff it just locks it just helps to seal it um, and then we will start filling it up with our filler and our tubes lots of rags and this and that in there because I think it's easier but like I said earlier 
I don't know why they don't have these settings, these the other ones for that. Now I've got one of these, um, it's alright as well, you just have to cut that down so that you're not, you're not, um, you know, having this straight in the air, they, they're alright. Uh, I prefer to use this one, but this is messy. I find this, every time I do this, it's messy. I've not come up with a good one that pumps through and it is not messy. So, I'll set it up and I'll show you what I've done. Now, what I've done here is, I've got the torque wrench and I'm just going to show you that it's going to torque out at 35 Nm. So that's in the drain plug. Hear that noise? That's torquing out at 35 Nm. So that is in. I'm happy with that. Now, I've rigged up all everything else. Hoses into the oil, coming out into the pump. And that line, the other line is going up and over the exhaust pipe. But please don't do that when it's hot because it'll melt it. And it's going into just there, the fill plug. So I'm going to pump away until, until we get it running out. So as soon as it's filled, it's going to run down here. So I've got some cloths and stuff under here to, to catch it. That was pretty messy with this thing here. I'm going to have to maybe modify this so I've got a proper like tube maybe these were kind of too flexible I would have said too naughty and probably too long but I didn't put the thread locker uh, on the top one because as soon as I pulled out the hose I wanted to catch as much oil in that as possible and as you can see it's just above the uh, uh, liter, so it would be three liters, so that's one and a bit liters that's in there. And I obviously I started with the mark at four liters, which is kind of rubbed off, which is about here. It's about there. So it was certainly just under three liters I went in there. But I'm going to kind of measure out, I'm going to measure how much oil is in there, just so that I've got, I mean, you can't go wrong really, because the, um, as soon as it starts coming out the filler plug, um, you fill. Let's say I was want to be really quick to catch as much oil in there as possible. And I think I achieved that. Okay, that's that. Bye for now.